Hey y'all, this is going to be a quick video on how to deploy a Dash application to Windows IIS server. Um, if you don't have it activated already, I would just Google how to activate IIS. There's a bunch of good tutorials on that. Um, I'm going to be using this repo with a demo Dash application in it as an example, but you can plug and play your Dash app in this by using the code. This is very similar to the Flask tutorial I've done, if you need a more detailed example and walkthrough. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not open Edge, actually. Oopsies. Oh, please. Undo. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm going to navigate to um, C Drive, inetpub, wwroot, just so I can copy this path. And then I'm going to open a terminal in administrator. I'm using the git version, but you can use just the normal command prompt as administrator as well. Paste and set this as my current directory. Then I'm going to clone this repo. Whoop. Awesome. I'm going to clone it in. And we're going to have to create a virtual environment in here as well. But we're just going to follow this these steps. So clone this environment, create a virtual environment. So I need to s current directory into dash IIS. Nice. Paste this command. Now while this is creating the virtual environment, um, I can kind of go over through the code a bit over here and let me clean this up a bit. Do, 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 do. And then copy this this. So um, router.py, this is actually a, um, a multi-dash app and for those who like will find use in this, this example is very helpful. I'm actually making this video so I don't forget that this is how you can have multiple dash apps, but if you just want to deploy one, it's like this as well. So we have a dispatcher middleware WSGI object and this is what IIS is actually using. And we're saying, hey, at this endpoint, we want this server. At this endpoint, we want this server. This could just be slash if you are only using one. But I'm using two. Um, and this is the underlying Flask server. So I'm going to go over to the app one and app two real quick. App one is just a very simple um, graph of this, the default sepal width that comes with plotly and an important part with this is whatever what wherever you want to host wherever you want to host this whatever endpoint this is it has to match the um, request path name prefix they have to match where with the forward slash as well if you don't if you aren't holding this at a different uh, endpoint you don't need to touch this, it should just be fine on its own. But um, if like we had a use case where we had 15 different Dash apps because different data scientists had made them, the previous company I was at, and so we had to host all of them at once on a Windows server, and this is how we did that. And um, yes, so hopefully this is done soon. One, one more thing, and then the other Dash app is something that uses, serves local files. So this is app two. But we have two files here, and I'm just using the GitHub URL, and this is where we're going to get these photos from. And if we go to this, do do do, Taco Piano done. Set up py. Cool. This is moving forward. And this is the last step, and then the last step is the web.config. Then this is probably the easiest thing to get wrong. Um, this is the whiskey handler takes in the name of the file and the name of the flask app. So this is router.app. If we go over here, router is the name of the file. App is the name of the, the dispatcher middleware object. Awesome. We're going to go just quick. If we finished over here, I'm just going to finish this. This is the path to the environment because I've installed this all locally. You can do, you can use what I have here, but you can change this as well. And the log is kind of important to have, because uh, just in case something crashes, this is where it'll go. And I'm just saving this into the app.log here. Cool. So what's the next step? Oopsies. 
enable CGI for IIS. If you haven't done this, um, this is a good example to do it right here that I have there. Uh, but you're going to do add remove windows or features, activate features. Yeah, windows features on and off. Then you're going to go to the IIS, I believe, web management. No. Worldwide web services. Chief application development features. Yeah, it's CGI right here. Make sure I have it all. You can enable it all, but just make sure this is enabled. And once that's enabled, um, we're going to ensure proper file permissions. I'm not going to do that just yet because I'm going to show an example of it not working and how to fix it. We've already, we have all the defaults, so we don't need to change this. So now we just need to add the application to IIS. So we're going to here, right click, add website, site name, dash IIS, content path. We are in WW root, so this here, WW root, dash IIS. And then I'm just going to leave it default because I want it to be um, localhost. Add. Yes. Cool. So now when, when I open this, it should be an error because I haven't allowed, I haven't given it permission to write to the log. It should be some weird, yep. So permission error, permission denied here. App.log. So I'm going to go back to my file. Click on dash IIS. Properties. Security. IIS users. Edit. To give it full control. OK. It's going to go through. And then hopefully after this goes through, we'll have our application ready. Um, the last thing to note is in the web.config again. This script processor has to be added, and if it's saying no, if you don't, if you don't get any output here, make sure that you go to this top level, and I believe it is it CGI. No, it's not CGI. Where is it? It's fast or mapper handling. Is it that? No, where was it? Fast CGI settings. Why wow, I couldn't see that. Um, this needs to be the path, this path, and these arguments. If it's if that that isn't there, I can go to the other example real quick. Well, in, anyway, I'm going to show this working first. So localhost. If we click this now, it should be nothing there because we didn't go to one of the endpoints. Boom. So if we go to app one. This is loading the Dash app in, and here is our Dash application with all the normal interaction. Then if we go to App 2, Taco and Kiana. So this is how you get this to work. If this isn't here, you can add the path to the um, Python environment that you want to use wherever, and the name of the location of your WFAST CGI item. Um, if that's not there, you can go to your environment, scripts, wfastgienable.exe, um, just run as administrator. And this will automatically assemble or uh, in configure this for you. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or uh, like suggestions, please like this video or like comment. Yeah, comment. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. It helps me out. Um, I've had some good feedback on some other videos I've done, so I'm going to try to make more if it keeps being helpful for people. So yeah, have a great one.